gentlemen. This is Brian over at Obedia, and uh, I've had some requests recently to do a uh, short overview of Personas's new digital audio workstation, Studio One. And so I thought I'd just uh, show you a little bit of uh, the features of Studio One today. Studio One is a, it's a fairly basic digital audio workstation, but it does have some, uh, some very good tools in it, and I think as it evolves, it's going to get even more powerful. Uh, when you first open up Studio One, it asks you to activate, and activation is done uh, through the Personas website. Uh, you can create a uh, Personas user account on their website and uh, register your software and things like that. And uh, then all you really need to do is uh, activate online, uh, figuring that your computer is online. You log into your account, and uh, that gets you all set up. After you've installed Studio One, uh, there's a number of loops and uh, other instruments that Studio One comes with. You can, um, you can scroll through them. You can decide what you want to install and what you don't want to install. It takes up about 8 gigabytes to install everything, which is definitely not bad. And uh, there's a lot of loops to choose from, drums and other production loops that can come in really handy for someone who just wants to hit the ground running and start creating some music. So when you get Studio One opened up, one of the cool things that you'll notice uh, is that the start screen will, of course, incorporate a lot of things you're used to. It'll show you the recent files you've been working on and things like that. It's got uh, quick links to creating a new song, project, opening and existing, things like that. But it's got some other cool stuff uh, that, that uh, is very uh, individual to Studio One, such as the artist profile section. And uh, this is pretty cool because it lets you put in your, your artist name, the genre that you work in. You even get to include a picture of yourself, your website, uh, and all of this information can be included with your project or your song when you're done with it. Um, there's also some very cool online sharing options um, that uh, I think are going to grow as time goes on and uh, I can talk about a little later. There's also a news feed on the right hand side which is cool, gives you information on updates and things like that from Personas and uh, you can also look at demos and tutorials from there. So this is a good way to uh, just get yourself started on a project and up here at the top you can click on a song or project to get started and uh, start working on some music. So there are some different versions of Studio One. There's the entry level version and there's also the Studio One Pro version. I'm using Studio One Pro. You can upgrade to that from the, uh, the basic version. And one of the big differences between the basic and the pro version is being able to use the project uh, features of Studio One. And the project features essentially give you a number of audio mastering tools uh, that allow you to EQ your audio and uh, add effects, um, post-production effects for the purpose of uh, being able to master your audio for a CD release. And they're pretty powerful. And uh, these plugins uh, that I was just showing you, they're actually native to Studio One, which I think is very cool. They come included uh, with the Pro version, and they're very powerful. They sound really great, and uh, I think this is a very cool option to be able to give um, any musician is the ability to take their music to the next level and really learn more about mastering and making it sound really great. This is also where you can uh, burn a CD, burn an image of what you're working on, uh, you're given a timeline, of course, that shows you how much time you've uh, used up by importing audio into your project, so you can fill up a CD and things like that. Um, and uh, then, of course, there's one other very cool option here, which is the digital release option. And digital release, uh, Studio One is the first digital audio workstation that I know of to incorporate this feature. 
uh, which is that it, it connects directly to SoundCloud. And if you're not familiar with SoundCloud, SoundCloud is an online music sharing service. It's very cool. Um, there are free accounts available that allow you to upload your music, share it with the world, uh, and also have people comment on your tracks at uh, various times within the track and things like that. This is very cool because you can select the upload to SoundCloud uh, option and after bouncing down your audio you can upload it to your SoundCloud account and then share it with the world. Uh, I think this is really cool. I think it's something that uh, I hope to see a lot of other digital audio workstations start to integrate because of course the nature of music now is making it and releasing it very quickly on the internet. SoundCloud allows you to do that and Studio One uh, with its direct interface with SoundCloud is uh, definitely setting a pace that I think other uh, um, digital audio workstations are going to end up following.